King Tut's tomb killed six people who opened it within seven years. Was it really an ancient curse or something more sinister? But first, please subscribe. Now, let's discover the truth behind the Pharaoh's curse. On November 4th, 1922, British archaeologist Howard Carter discovered King Tutankhamun's tomb in Egypt's Valley of the Kings. It was the most intact Pharaoh's tomb ever found, filled with priceless treasures, but carved above the entrance was a chilling hieroglyphic inscription, Death shall come on swift wings to him who disturbs the peace of the king. Just five months after opening the tomb, Lord Carnarvon, the expedition's financial backer, died suddenly in Cairo from an infected mosquito bite that turned into blood poison he was 57. The moment Carnarvon died, all the lights in Cairo mysteriously went out simultaneously. Back in England, his dog reportedly howled and dropped dead at the exact same moment. Within seven years, six people directly involved in opening the tomb died under mysterious circumstances. Media frenzy exploded about the pharaoh's curse, killing those who disturbed the ancient king. George J. Gould, an American financier who visited the tomb, died of fever just months later. Arthur Mace, the archaeologist who actually broke the seal, died shortly after from unexplained causes. Hugh Evelyn White, a British archaeologist who helped catalog artifacts, hanged himself, leaving a note that said, I have succumbed to a curse. But here's where the story gets interesting. Howard Carter, who actually opened the tomb and spent years inside it, lived for 17 more years and died at age 64 from natural causes. Modern scientists have investigated the curse thoroughly. They discovered something shocking. Ancient Egyptian tombs contained toxic mold spores that had been sealed inside for 3,000 years. When archaeologists opened the tomb, they released aspergillus and other deadly fungal spores into the air. Breathing these spores can cause severe respiratory infections, especially in people with weakened immune systems. Lord Carnarvon had been in poor health before entering the tomb. The mosquito bite that killed him became infected partly because his immune system was already compromised by breathing tomb mold. Additionally, the tombs contained bat droppings that carried histoplasmosis, a dangerous fungal disease that attacks the lungs and can be fatal if untreated. The curse was actually ancient biology. The tomb-sealed environment created a perfect breeding ground for deadly microorganisms that remained dormant for millennia. Of the 58 people present when the tomb was opened, only 8 died within a dozen years, a normal death rate for that era. The curse narrative was sensationalized by newspapers desperate for dramatic stories. Howard Carter himself dismissed the curse as ridiculous superstition. He spent a decade excavating the tomb without any supernatural interference, living long enough to see his discoveries celebrated worldwide. The real curse? Media sensationalism that turned tragic coincidences and preventable medical deaths into supernatural mythology that persists 100 years later. That's your curse debunked knowledge bomb. If this scientific truth fascinates you, smash that like button. Subscribe for more mysteries explained by science. 